surprise. Today we have a guest on my video. This is Ingrid, Miss Lamaroxi. We've never done a video together except the one that we just filmed for her channel. So people have been requesting it and we just have never done one. So it's really exciting. And we just filmed one for her channel, which I will link below. We're doing April favorites. We did um, hair, body, fragrance, nails, nails, random on her channel. Yeah. And I'll link it below and also put it at the end of this video. And then we're going to do makeup and skincare in this video. And we have an exciting announcement. Yep. So last year, Inger did this fun thing in May and it was called Makeup Mayhem. Yeah. We had this big brainstorm for me to do it in July and call it Glam July. And we planned it out. And, and then, then the whole fiasco happened where like your first video, like YouTube was like giving you issues with it. Took it and down, blocked I my know. channel, gave me a strike. We were in Florida and I like cried over I it because know. I was like, people think that I like don't want to put up videos. It was a stressful time and I was just like, oh no, this is like such a bad start. We were being geese, Abigail. I know. If we walk any further, <laughs> we'll have flat feet. But Amelia, we were born with flat feet. Do, 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 do. We're gonna do it on both of our channels, so it's gonna be 16 videos each, 32 videos total. Is 16 plus 16 32? Mm. Yep. And they're gonna be very like intertwined. So we're gonna have like some videos we're like, doing the same thing, but differently or something. I don't know. They're like somehow really. Yeah. Yeah. And also I'm moving this month and so, and she's helping me move. So yeah. we're just, there's a lot going on. I told her, I was like, my heart is telling me to do it. I loved Makeup Mayhem last year. So I feel like having someone to do it with this year is going to make it like, even we have so more many fun. ideas. Yeah. So I'm really excited and I think that it's just going to be fun for everybody and I'm just excited to share it with Elle this year. And you guys can tweet below, not tweet below, you guys can tweet us with the hashtag Makeup Mayhem if you want to leave us requests. Mm -hmm. We will be taking some requests throughout yeah. the month and we can do like we can do like a tag video with frequently asked questions together yeah. or something so you guys can just leave questions or video ideas with makeup mayhem. Our first non-serious favorite is flirty wine. I think you Instagrammed a picture of the cork yeah. right here which Pinecone is playing with yeah. right now. <laughs> um, but it's a pink Moscato and it's so good. It tastes like juice. We just enjoy like drinking wine and like chatting and it's like girl time for yeah. us. And now we're having girl makeup mayhem. My first favorite of April is the Excel Skincare Apple Stem Cell Cloud Cream. And this is a cream that is 100% natural and it does so many things. It prevents acne, it diminishes scars, diminishes wrinkles, and re helps reverse the aging process. And what I like about this is that it's a nice thick cream. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, but it has, like it's good for all skin types. It doesn't feel it feels really super, good like oily even though it's yeah. really moisturizing and it has a cooling effect which yeah just I really really like that it feels like really cool and refreshing especially like, for like the hotter months like yeah. she's like fanning it <laughs> I'm like it, it feels, feels really good, good. <laughs> yeah and it's like it's not even that lotiony it's almost like a mix between a lotion and a gel almost yeah it just has like a really nice smooth texture yeah to I it. really really like that I feel like that would be good for like all skin types yeah and this is from excelskincare.com and I actually have a coupon code for you guys where you get $20 off um, your entire purchase on packages so I'll put it below it's excel 20 because who doesn't like $20 off yeah, it feels really good for like yeah. the summer months. You have a skincare one too, don't you? I do. So I have been using this serum from Caudalie, and I bought this while I was in New York because I was looking for a new serum, and this is the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. And on the description in Sephora, it said specifically that this was good for clearing up acne scars and hyperpigmentation, which is why I got this. It has that like gel-like consistency to it and it absorbs really quickly into your skin and doesn't make you feel greasy. So you can wear this at night and during the day underneath your makeup. If I'm having a breakout, I feel like it just kind of clears up faster. So this is definitely a serum that I think I'm gonna be repurchasing. These are from Target. This is the brand Pacifica, and these are the Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes, which really intrigued me because I have used coconut water on my face before and my skin just loved it. So when I saw these in wipe form, I was like, I need to try these out. They're not overly drying and the scent isn't like, strong where it like lingers on your face which I like this is kind of like a random favorite we didn't know whether to put it in my video or her video but we both have them yeah <laughs> we actually bought them together yeah these are the Kleenex hand towels and it's like I almost hit you in the face just <laughs> just like bam. I just hit myself in the face goodness um these are like basically disposable towels and I've seen these in like some super nice 
like bathrooms like if you're in a nice hotel and you go to a public restroom sometimes they'll have piles of these instead of just like paper towels and they just feel so much better this is an unopened box I've already gone through one box this is going to my new place so I'm not gonna open it but these are actually really nice for when you wash your face mm -hmm. tonight after you use your wipes and then you actually use an actual cleanser to kind of like deep clean your face I have a hand towel that I use when I wash my hands to dry off my hands and I was using that to blot my face but this is like a much more <laughs> sanitary way <laughs> yeah it is and I actually learned that trick from one of my old roommates. She would always dry her face with a paper towel and I asked her why and she said it's because there was no like bacteria build up like there would be on a towel and I was like oh my gosh that makes so much sense. So once I started doing that I noticed like a huge difference in my skin. And if you have problematic skin then it's like worth investing in something like this. We each have a lip balm, one of which we refer to as the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is our Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balm. I've talked about this before. It is the best, it's in my amazing. opinion, lip balm ever. Um, I have a tiny bit left. I just love this so much and she actually found one that might be a real like like competitor for yeah this. I feel this like is, this is I feel like this is good for daytime by soap and glory and I got this at Sephora and the consistency reminds me a lot of the creme de rose one but it smells like peaches it smells really good and it adds a little bit of a tint to your lips like a peachy pink color which I like and I've just been wearing this underneath my lip product during the day this month and I really like it this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer and this is my new favorite concealer um, this I actually like so much that I might not end up repurchasing my clay de peau, which is, yeah, like this stuff is so good. I That's might, a big deal. I know. I, I know how much you love that stuff. I know. <laughs> I might still get my clay de peau as like spot touch ups. Um, but as far as under my eyes, I've been using these and I love it. I have the color Chantilly, which is their lightest color. It's like very light on me. But the reason I use this is because it brightens my under eye area. And then I use a little bit of this color, which is honey. And this is more of like an exact match for my skin. Are those new? Because I've never seen those concealers They are. Before. Yeah, they just launched recently. Um, I really want to try those now. <laughs> I've been using Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. And this is awesome if you have oily skin, but you want to set your makeup with something that's a little bit more translucent and this stuff is amazing like it'll keep you nice and matte and you can use this to touch up throughout the day I'm still getting used to the loose powder thing though because I'm not good with loose powders I feel like they fly everywhere but this stuff is awesome if you have oily skin and I've been using it with my little she loves this whole thing <laughs> my little retractable brush that I keep in my bag if you want matte skin this you have where... oily skin yeah. that's what this you is need. where it's at <laughs> I was on Project Low Buy and I wasn't letting myself <laughs> buy anything and she came over and we purged like so much of my makeup and as a reward, oh my god, yep. so it is the YSL um, Rouge Volupte in number two which is a really pretty beige yep. and this is what I have on today too but I don't know, it might have worn off with all of our wine drinking. I know. And then I got the Dior Lip Gloss in 256 and this is a combination that Ingrid was wearing last summer when we were mm -hmm. in Cabo and it was beautiful and I made a mental note to eventually get it and I finally did. Yeah, it's and like I my really favorite nude lip combo. It just it just feels so nice and I feel like it looks good on everybody. Mm -hmm. so it's really pretty. My favorite lip combo this month, which I also have on my lips, but who knows if it's still there because of the wine. It's so good. I've been wearing the Maybelline Color Whisper in Coral Ambition and this is just a really pretty mm. corally pink color and I feel like it just adds enough color to my lips but it's not like super bright and then over the top I've been wearing the Chroma Beauty lip gloss in Orange Blossom Honey and this smells well maybe it does smell but it definitely tastes like actual honey which is Ooh. amazing and I really really oh it does smell like honey I really really love that because I love honey and this is just a beautiful like peachy pink color with a little bit of golden shimmer in it. We both have a mascara. My favorite is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. I love all of the Maybelline um, like Volume Express mascaras. Their falsies one. I don't know if that's a Volume Express. But I just like all of their mascaras except the turquoise one that you like. The Mega Plush. Yeah, I, didn't I like really one. love. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, I didn't like that one, but I really, this is my favorite. This one actually I feel like gives me slightly a false lash effect. My mascara is actually the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which I was so unsure about. I really thought this was going to be like a gimmicky product, and 
Tanya actually told me that it was amazing and that I should try it because it's super waterproof and it doesn't smudge and that is like my biggest problem with eye makeup. And so I got this after a lot of thinking. It has this like Ooh. really, really tiny brush. So it's, it's like baby yeah, brush. It's like a little baby brush and you just like put it on your bottom lashes and no joke guys, like this stuff will not smudge at all once you put it on like not even the tiniest little flake there's some kind of like magic potion in there but it stays on this is the illamasqua powder blush in katie and this is the most beautiful like highly pigmented baby doll pink <gasps> I know, so and that's pretty. like not even building it up at all. Oh my god! Like it's just the most beautiful. If you guys can see that, um, it reminds me of Well Dressed from Mac, except that Well Dressed has to be built up quite a lot. It's a very sheer blush, and I love the color, but I almost can never see the color on my skin, even built up. And I'm pretty fair, but this one is just like really pigmented and beautiful and I very soft. I love that. That is so pretty. It looks good on your skin too. I know. I'm just like, oh, I'm surprised because usually stuff like this, it's either hit or miss, but I actually really like that. I have the Jouer Perfect Tan Bronzer, which so many people have been raving about. I feel like the name Perfect Tan is perfect for this because it really does give you like the perfect tan. And it's really like soft and like Ooh. creamy feeling, but it's not a cream blush, it's powder. We will see you guys in two days with our next video, which we'll be doing separately. So check out both of our channels on May 3rd. And my birthday's on May 25th, and it's my golden year because I'm turning 25 and my birthday's on the 25th. So it's like my golden year birthday. And we're gonna be together because I know. Vacation. I hit my golden birthday when I was two, so. Yeah, so she needs a redo. <laughs> she needs to have a second golden birthday, and this is gonna be it. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Cheers to Makeup Mayhem. Cheers. Here we go. Bottoms up, Amelia. Wait, Abigail. Abigail, if we walk any further, we're gonna have flat feet. But Amelia, we were born with flat feet. <laughs> 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 <laughs>